sources of attenuation in fibers. Optical signals coupled between fiber optic components are transmitted with no loss of light. However, there is always some type of imperfection present at fiber optic connections that causes some loss of light. In this session, we will learn more about these losses. At the end of the session, you will be able to Interpret the sources of attenuation in optical fibers. Attenuation means loss of light energy as the light pulse travels from one end of the cable to the other. It is also called as signal loss or fiber loss. The main factors that affect attenuation are absorption, scattering, dispersion and bending. Absorption of light energy is the loss due to transformation of light into heat as it passes through a dense medium. Scattering occurs due to microscopic variations in the material density, compositional fluctuations, structural inhomogeneities and manufacturing defects. Dispersion As an optical signal travels along the fiber, Sometimes the pulses broaden due to various reasons and gets distorted. This is called dispersion. These distortions are classified into intramodal dispersion, modal dispersion and chromatic dispersion. Intramodal dispersion It is the pulse spreading that occurs within a single mode. Modal dispersion Modal dispersion is a distortion mechanism occurring in multi-mode fibers in which the signal is spread in time because the propagation velocity of the optical signal is not the same for all modes. Chromatic dispersion Chromatic dispersion is caused by delay due to differences among the group velocities of the different wavelengths composing the source spectrum. The consequence of the chromatic dispersion is a broadening of the transmitted impulses. The loss which exists when an optical fiber undergoes bending is called bending losses. There are two types of bending, macroscopic bending and microscopic bending. Macroscopic bending refers to the bending in which complete fiber undergoes bends which causes certain modes not to be reflected and therefore causes loss to the cladding. In microscopic bending, either the core or cladding undergoes slight bends at its surface. It causes light to be reflected at angles when there is no further reflection. To prevent fiber loss, bent radius should always be maintained within limits. Do not exceed the cable bend radius. Fiber optic cable can be broken when kinked or bent too tightly, especially during pulling. With that, we've come to the end of the session. Let's now recollect the key points. Signal loss in the cable happens due to the following factors which are absorption, scattering, dispersion and bending. To prevent fiber loss, bend radius should always be maintained within limits.